I want to thank everybody for being here today for the weekly demonstration of the Search and Save Medicare system for agents' use. As we like to say around here, Search and Save, the least expensive, all-in-one Medicare system where you own your data. Before we get started, a couple of housekeeping issues. Uh, everybody is on mute so we don't get any background noise, so please don't raise your hand because we can't call on you. But on your side, you have a Q&A box, so if you would just simply type in your questions there, and we'll have a Q&A session at the end of the webinar. Well, let's get started. For those of you who may not be familiar with who we are, I am Scott Nichols, and I am president of our parent company, One Too Many Insurance Agency Incorporated, and our brokerage, SA Nichols Brokerage, along with Search and Save. I'm a 39-year veteran of the insurance industry as a field agent. We created Search and Save to give agents a platform to save their data and keep it private and give them back a lot of the tools they lost when Medicare.gov made their changes. We also created this new Perl technology, Personal URL. It's an integration with our Medicare system to automate and streamline the gathering and updating of your clients' information, and we're excited to share that with you. So why did we do this? Why did we create a new quoting Medicare system when there's so many other ones that are out there on the market? Well, if you think about what happened with Medicare.gov after 2019, it really became quite an issue. As I said, we have a national Medicare brokerage and our agents who work with our brokerage came to us and said, gee, these Medicare.gov changes are really affecting how we do business. Is there anything you can do? Well, from 2016 to about 2019, we were working in online Medicare platforms and doing a lot of experimentation. And so we thought, well, let's take a look around and see. So we did take a look around and all we found were FMO platforms and third-party platforms that wanted to control what plans you saw, wanted to control the contracts you saw. It wasn't like Medicare.gov where you could see the entire landscape and save that data. So that wasn't going to work. So we finally decided to create our own because agents needed to own their data. And I'm going to share something with you in a minute that is really important to that point that we didn't even know about in 2019. But agents needed a dependable system to replace Medicare.gov that didn't hold them hostage. They also needed an integrated CRM, which we've created. They needed to save clients' drug lists, quotes, providers, year after year with confidence. They needed to be able to search Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement plans without contracting restrictions. They needed to be able to record and store e-electronic scope of appointments, and now telephonic audio and screen share interactions for 10 years. The industry also needed in their systems a real provider and facility search engine that was actually connected to the carrier servers to know what providers and facilities took which plans quickly and accurately and save time from having to go from directory to directory to directory, which needed to speed up that process for agents in the quoting process. Agents also needed to be able to enroll in the carrier's agent portal seamlessly to get their HRA money, which a lot of these systems that were enrollment systems with their uplines took away from them and the HRA money was not available. They needed to have development and investment in development and technology to make their jobs easier. For example, this advanced Perl technology I keep bringing up, which I'm very excited to show you here in a minute. So here is what whistleblowers are telling us that we didn't know back in 2019, the elephant in the room on free Medicare systems from uplines, is that when agents use those uplines and enter data into them, they no longer own that data. The free system does. Now the free system can do whatever it wants with that data. They can mine, sell, or share it. You don't control the use of your client data any longer. According to whistleblowers that are coming forward online and even doing recordings on podcasts, the average book of business is sold off in the open market 11 to 15 times. Now, how can they do this? Well, it's in the user agreement and it's also in their privacy policies that you approve of when you use their free system. You click on it to agree your use of terms, but you don't read it. I understand that. None of us usually do. They're lengthy legal documents. But here's an example of one from a very well-used Medicare systems privacy policy. 
It states here that we reserve the right to collect site UC statistics that may include pages visited, visitor IP address, time on the site, and other information. Since Search and Save is an agent built and service program, I made sure that we remove this language from our user agreement and privacy policy to protect agent data and to ensure that agent data entered into our system will never be mined, sold, or shared by our company with anyone. So there's actually another uh, issue in the room for agents coming down the pike that I thought I would touch base on that uh, systems out there that are from the uplines or whatever, they're just not addressing it and it's coming very quickly. And it has to do with this new CMS regulation on recording uh, storage. You have to keep those recordings for 10 years and that storage cost is going to continue to increase for agents as we move forward and you have to keep all of that uh, data. So we went out and negotiated with our system ways to really curtail this and make it a, really a non-issue. And we'll talk about that a lot in our, in our presentation. But I just wanted to point something out to you that you really got to know about. Recording storage costs. Right now, uh, most of the third-party marketing organization systems out there that were free are charging agents anywhere between $35 and $50 a month on average just for the audio call storage. Okay. Now they are also charging screen share storage. Now what I went out and looked at was Zoom and, and Zoom, uh, the numbers here are from them, they charge an average of $14 to $25 per month that gets you up to about 10 gigabytes of storage for their screen share technology. That's not much storage folks, okay? And then as your storage needs grow, because you have to keep it for 10 years, so do your cost. And down below it gives you some idea of how much more that's going to be. So if you go over, let's say, the 10 gigabytes uh, of storage, because um, uh, that's going to take you maybe to 30 gigabytes, it's another $10, but that's not going to be much. Pretty soon you're at 20. Now you're, you see your cost growing. One trillibyte's is $100 a month. You figure where you're going to be in 10 years, you could be at five trillibytes. That's $500 per month for storage. We have prepared ourselves for this inevitability and then put in place protections to seriously minimize this cost for you. And I'll be anxious to share that with you here in the presentation of the system. So what makes Search and Save so different? You own your client data and the use of it, not some third party vendor or FMO upline. We're agent built and agent serviced. We're independently owned and operated. We're HIPAA compliant, encrypted, and secured by two data security companies. We have a superior user-friendly interface. We have an integrated CRM built into our Medicare system. There's no hierarchy change or recruitment involved here. Accurate drug data from our carrier servers, accurate Medicare Advantage and Medicare supplement quoting coast to coast from the carrier servers, a truly accurate provider and facility search engine from the carrier servers customer support from actual Medicare certified agents, live online training classes and on-demand videos for your usage, printouts and comparisons are CMS approved for clients use, make back that HRA money you've been losing with upline systems that don't have the ability to give you that by using our enrollment system direct to the carrier platform. We have ancillary product quoting for hospital indemnity and final expense, Blue button technology is available and that really exciting Pearl technology I keep talking about to automate the gathering of new and existing client information. Well, let's get started looking at the system. Here's a demonstration of the search and save system for agents use. First, we'll come to our sign in page. You'll see that you can sign in with your email address and password, or you can sign in with social media buttons, LinkedIn, Google, Facebook. Now, it is important that the email address you use here under the register for the email address here matches those with social media if you're going to use social media buttons later. If you're new to the system and you want to register for a 30-day free trial, you just click on register, fill in your first and last name, your email address, enter a password, and click register. We'll send you an email to confirm your identity, and you can come back to the system, and you can log in.
We also have search and save video tutorials here. If you click this fourth button, you will go to this page. And this page has all the different videos of our features and benefits of our systems in a table of contents format, or you can do an entire video presentation right here to look and see how the system performs. So we'll go in and sign in. When you get to this first page, this is what we call the dashboard, right? So we have customer profiles here. You can see all the customer profiles. Let's say you're in an agency with sub-agents. You can break out those profiles by just the profiles you need to see for your book of business. Share profiles from agents that are your sub-users in the system. You can export all of your customer data right here. We do not want to hold you hostage with our system. If there is something that you need to find by a specific drug or drugs, you can do a customer profile lookup by drug name here. If you're in an agency situation and you have to change ownership of a block of business to another agent, you can do so right there. We have an electronic scope of appointment system. It is right here and this will connect you to our outside vendor for electronic scope of appointment. There are many add-on tools that we have for our system, and these uh, are optional, and they are an additional subscription cost than the search and save system itself. To access any of these, and we'll go through these uh, in this video, but to access any of those, you have to have a payment method set up for those right here. You would simply click on that to set up that payment method. We have Pearl Technology, which we'll talk about, which is we believe one of the first Pearl Technologies personal URL to be integrated with a Medicare system and CRM. Incoming phone recording and storage. Screen share storage and recording as well. You won't have this admin on your side. I'll show you where your admin tools are here in a minute. You can import right here. We can import uh, files into our CRM from an XLSX format a CSV format. We have a special format set up in CSV just for agency block people that want to come over. And then of course you can always undo what you just did with our import history button. You can also run reports on our system. You can run reports for policies, birthdays, and other notifications. There's all different types of policies that you can run here with your book of business. You simply, to activate the report, you click the yellow Update Search button. On this side, this Silhouette button will take you to some important account settings and things like this that you'll need to know about if you're going to be using the Search and Save system. Here you have the account type. There's individual, small agency up to five users, medium agency up to nine users, large agency up to 19 users and we do go well beyond that. You can control your payment method right here and you can update your payment method from just hitting this gearbox. You can add sub-users right here if you're in an agency situation. You click the little gearbox to add a sub-user to the account and it'll send them another verification of identity email and get them started. For additional security, you can also add two-factor authorization into this system if you want to by simply enabling it. You also have email workflow here, which is nice for your CRM. You can send birthday messages out, such as these birthday messages. There's also templates in here for 65th birthday, annual election period, agent referral, as well as notifications of renewals, 30, 60, and 90 day. To simply just turn them on, you just slip the toggle over to here, and it'll start interacting with your CRM and sending out those for you. If you need to update your password, this little gearbox will do that for you right here. If you need to see any of the videos, help videos, while you're working with the system, there's a little help video button right up here. You just click on it. There's one just for importing, and there's another one for all the tutorials in the system. If you click on that, all the tutorials will load for you, and you can search for them by title.
So we'll go back into the system now. We'll go back to our dashboard, talk about that for just a second. You'll see over here we have recently viewed profiles right here. We have list IDs for our customers, our customers' names, who created it, be an agent or, or sub-agent. Last uh, date it was updated. And then we have our action buttons. This will actually access the person's customer's profile. This would access an existing client pearl, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And this would be to delete the uh, particular client. If we want to add a client, we simply hit this green button right here to add a client. If we need support, at the bottom of every page in Search and Save is our support ticket system, which you simply click. Make sure you put in the list ID number, client's name, and tell us your issue. And that is the fastest way to get support with Search and Save. So we'll delve right into the quoting. We'll click Add a New Client. First, you want to put in the person's name. We'll click create new list. Now the list is being created and you're going to come to the customer profile page. Now when I come to the customer profile page, you're going to notice several different things here I'll point out to you. You're going to have the list ID number here. This bottom line right here is all of our CRM tools. Our CRM is integrated into our system. Over on the right, you're going to see list owner. If you need to change a list owner, you simply can click on the person's name and change the list ownership in an agency situation. If you need to make an outbound call to this client and it needs to be recorded and stored in this client's profile, you need to click this phone icon right here and we'll talk more about the ins and outs of that in a minute. If you want to do a screen share with this client, you're going to want to click the computer icon right here once you've enabled screen sharing. Now, the minimum needed to do either one of those tasks in here is going to be the customer's name and a phone number. So we have to put in a phone number at bare minimum and an email address if for a bare minimum if I'm going to do screen share. That is the bare minimum to get by to do any kind of interaction with the client and have it recorded and stored into either the screen share recording or the audio recording. You'll see a couple of blocks here that are important. One is location and plan year. This is the Medicare quoting side of the system. And then the customer detail information over here is the first page of the CRM. And there are 56 or 57 fields here that you can add in the data or import the data. And you always wanna click update when you add anything into this so that it will register, okay? We have little alerts up here that will always tell you if something was successfully done. So to get started with our quote here, we're just going to go ahead and enter a zip code. We're going to select the county. We're going to select the plan year. And if the person is on low income subsidy, we can only quote in the system 100% subsidy with accuracy. Even CMS cannot quote under 100% LIS with accuracy. So we just do it at 100%. If a person needs an application for LIS that you're talking to, we built a little link in here for you to do the low income subsidy application right here. But we'll default to no and say this person doesn't need a low income subsidy. We click update. Now what happens is that at this point is we go out to our data vendor who goes out to the carriers, gets all of the plan information for Medicare Advantage, MAPD, PDP, MA only, DSNP, CSNP, plans and we'll bring them back to our system. Once that happens, this top bar up here is going to light up because our system is integrated. So this top bar lights up, and this is all the quoting tools right here for Medicare, and then down here, you have all of the information that you need for the CRM, so it's integrated, which is very nice. We have our drug list, our pharmacies, MAPD and PDP, MA only, DSNP and CSNP plans, for this particular customer we're quoting, we have 115 plans available for them, which I'll show you in a minute. We have our integrated provider search and facility search directly from the company carrier's uh, servers with over 107 provider networks. We can quote MedSup in this program. We can quote Ancillary with hospital indemnity or final expense, 
and we do have blue button in here as well. So we'll go ahead and get started with the drug list. We'll click on the drug list. And we subscribe to all three drug lists available through our data vendor. Most systems only do one. So ours is very, very vast, especially when it comes to the packaging of the drug. So you got to make sure that you're getting the right drug in here or you're searching for the right drug. Is it a capsule or a tablet? This will make a big difference. So you want to know these things about packaging. So we'll start off with a torvastatin, calcium. I have a quantity in here. We always tell you in our drugs to put in a 30-day quantity, retail quantity, 30-day retail because my, this process here in this little yellow signs will show you how to get the correct mail order by doing it this way. So give me a 30 day with a month's frequency, let's say in this situation. Now you can go beyond one month, but this is for retail frequency. And then our dosage, you wanna make sure you have your dosage right because this will bring up your packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and add that drug. When I add the drug, it goes over here on the right side with my quantity my dosage, etc. And then I've got my action button right here where I can modify or remove the drug. This is very helpful because when I get into next year, I can click modify of my drug. And let's say they're on a higher dosage, I can just alter it, update it, and I'm ready to go. So we want to add another drug. I'll add another one. Albuterol sulfate. I always use this one as a good example because I like to show off all the different packaging that we have here. Here's all the different packaging for albuterol sulfate. So you wanna make sure you get the right one, right? So we'll put that one in there. We'll say that's the one that we take. And we'll stop our list there. Now, if I wanna print this list out, I can click this PDF button and this will just make a real simple PDF that I can send to my customer and he can have a list of his drugs for that particular year and you can hand it to them there in the office or you can uh, email it to them either way okay we'll go to pharmacies now and with pharmacies what we'll do is i can sort these pharmacy results in several different ways one i can click my pharmacy filter and i can look for specific pharmacies let's say i want to look for cvs and let's say the person also uses walgreens and maybe they use, uh, I'm sorry, and then maybe they use Walmart. But I can sort my pharmacies this way if I want to, okay? Okay, and then I can also do it by mileage. Go up to 85 miles. I can also do it by zip code. And if you have a problem finding a pharmacy, in here um, just find the zip code for the pharmacy and put it in and it, it'll it'll do wonders for you in finding it i can select up to three because that's what our data vendor allows for me to choose so i've chosen three i can remove them right here i have a google map right here of the pharmacies so now i got my pharmacy selected now I can move on to my MAPD and PDP plans. There's a lot of tools in here that you that gives you a lot of control over your results of your MAPD and PDP plans. So we'll talk about that for just a second. You come to the MAPD plans page, you're going to see some toggles here. You can look for plans by MAPD, as you can see they're listed right here. Standalone PDP plans, MA only plans. You can filter by carrier name, other filters, insulin savings, Part B give back, do eligible or chronic care. There's even a column here with 15 different types of pieces of information you can take in or take out of your results, however you want to do it. You can click this red button to clear all of your filters, and there you go. If you want to remove DSNP or CSNP plan results, here are your toggles to do that. Here you would just move them over to the left. It'll clean up your list. You can search with this search bar for a specific carrier here. You can print this table out with an Excel spreadsheet if you want to.
You can do plan comparisons right here, which we'll get to in just a second. You see the green bar here, which has little arrows that go up and down, and I can sort my results however I want to. Let's say I want to see which had plan has the lowest premium, which one has the highest premium. Maybe I want to look for and see medical out of, uh, max amount of pockets, who has the lowest, which one's the highest. Same thing with drug deductibles, lowest, highest, mail order cost, estimated drug cost, etc. I can even do it by total estimated cost of the plan right here if I want to. So if I was going to compare three plans, I would just simply grab three of them that I was going to compare. I would click this Compare Selected Plans button, and it's going to bring me to this printout. Now this printout is approved by CMS to use both by print and electronically in an email. You can see I've got my columns all set up here with my plan ratings, premiums, drug copays, premiums, etc. I've got my medical deductibles, max out of pockets and whatnot lined up right here. You can also see that I've got availability here for some detail, um, for some benefits on here that uh, I can see a little bit more. My client can see a little bit more of what's going on with this particular plan and, and what's available to them by some really nice detail given for each particular carrier. I even have my prescription drug copays down here for each plan. When I click on print, I can add a cover page. If I go to add the cover page, I can put in my customer's name. I can put in my company name. And I can click the print right here. So that's very, very helpful for me. I get a nice cover page. I've got a nice presentation here that I can give to my client in my office. Or I can even save it as a PDF and attach it to an email and send it directly to them. Now, if I want to see plan details in here, I can click the View button right here, and I will go to a different page. Now, when I come to this page, I got more details on the plan. So, let's say we pick this particular plan. I've got my monthly plan premiums, my deductible, my estimated drug copays, my total drug copays, my total estimated premiums right here. I've got a legend here for the pharmacies that were chosen. Gold would be preferred. Gray would be standard and red would be out of network. I've got a print button right here so I can print that plan off and send it to a client if I want to with the cover page. My drug name, their tier, the dosage, quantity, monthly frequencies right in here. Each one of my phases are in here for my drug. So full retail, deductible, initial, gap, and catastrophic. Any drug restrictions are in here as well. Prior authorization, quantity limits, and step therapy. If I need to see mail order, I have a mail order link right here, and this will calculate off of that 30-day uh, quantity I told you to put in. It'll automatically change this to a 90-day quantity in three months, and it'll adjust all your pricing correctly. If I scroll down, I see estimated drug cost by month. I have January through the entire year here because we are dealing with a January 1st effective date in this case. Drug name's in here. My phase is in here. I've got monthly amounts here and a rolling total here. So I have subtotals for the month. If there's any premium with the program, be reflected here to give my client accurate for a monthly cost. Now, during the balance of the year, you'll see an additional toggle come right up here. It'll ask you if you want to see just the balance of the months remaining in the year. You would click that toggle on. You can even pick the month that you want. It will adjust your drug pricing right here. Since this is an MAPD plan, we'll scroll down here to the bottom. We got our health plan deductibles, drug deductibles, medical deductibles, out-of-pocket maximum listed here. If this was a PPO plan, another box would open here showing you the max in and out of network and any additional deductibles there would be. On the left-hand side of this page, you see all the different copays and coinsurance listed. And some in great detail. On the right side are links to your summary of benefits and other pieces of information you may want to download and send to a client. If I would like to see another plan next to this one, I click the yellow view plans. I see that this plan was grayed out right here, but so I may want to see another plan. Let's say I wanted to see that AARP plan. If I click on it, it will open up and it will show me the AARP plan. So I can then look and see in detail what this plan might have to offer my client that maybe the other plan didn't. I can go back and forth between them.
I've had as many as two rows of these open at a time. So there's plenty of opportunity for you there. Now when the time comes for enrollment on one of these plans, I simply go and I click my agent portal button, which is going to connect me directly to the agent portal login for that specific carrier, where I'll use the credentials that I have for that carrier, and I will be able to just sign in and enroll the client. That way I'll get my HRA money back, and it'll be much better for me and much better for my client. Moving forward now, we'll go to the provider search. This is a very unique piece of our system. Uh, we started building the provider search engine connected to the carrier servers around 2019, and it's been a work in progress. We now stand at about 107 provider carrier networks directly from the carrier servers that are updated weekly. So this is the most accurate provider information you can get um, that is not scrub data uh, like a lot of the other systems have or public utility files or web crawlers. This is from the carrier servers. So all you really need to do is you need to put in the doctor's name, you put in the zip code, and I always suggest you put in the zip code where the doctor is being seen. Make sure you have a radius that's good enough because if you don't find the doctor and you didn't put in their address, you're going to need to maybe go out further on your miles. You click find provider. Now what's going to happen is, is this is going to go out to our data vendor who is a separate data vendor that has this uh, information for the insurance company to providers. And it's going to list all the plans that they take. It's even going to give you the group names of the doctor's groups that they're in. To make this a little bit easier to sift through, I always suggest you use the network filters button. And this will give you all the plans that that doctor takes. So let's say I've won through this and I said, well, you know, I want to show my client this Aetna Assured 1 HMO. And I also like want to show them the Humana Choice PPO and maybe one more, the uh, Medical Mutual Select PPO. I can look here to see what my doctor takes. Now I can see and I can save. So I can click my save buttons here and I can save that to my client's profile and I'll save it year to year. So when I come back next year, I just need to click on the save only and there are my doctors for my, my client. All I need to do is take this out and put in the next doctor's name and find provider and I will find that provider against my list of plans that I selected here. If I need to clear the filter, I have a red clear filter button right here. But as you can see, it still saved my doctor because I saved them. It's fantastic. Think of how much time you save just by using that provider search engine. Now the facility search engine will do the same thing. You can go in here and look for a hospital. You can do the same thing with your miles and radius. You will have to do a network search again fresh because this is a separate database for facilities. And with hospitals, what happens is it'll pull up everything the hospital does. So if you just want to see if a hospital takes specific plan or this particular hospital is the favorite for this client, what you may want to do at that point is go to the specialties button right here and just click hospital general acute and that'll clean that list up for you. So that way, when you come back, you can click on networks and say, okay, I was looking at this Assure HMO DSNEP, and I was looking at this plan, and I was looking at the Medical Mutual and uh, Preferred PPO plan. Does the hospital take that? So I need to know that. So I've got it in here. I say, okay, I need to save that. I need to save this. I need to save this. So now that is in my customer's profile. So next year when I come back, there are the hospitals that they take and the plans that I quoted for them. So that saves rather nicely. Think of the time savings involved with that for you. It's fantastic. We'll move on to Medicare Supplement now. Our Medicare Supplement uh, program is pretty straightforward. Um, you would simply put in the client's age, their gender, whether they use tobacco or not, their zip code, their county, and then what plan you want for them. Let's say you wanted to look at a plan G. I need to remember what the benefits are. I can do it right there with this little tab. My effective date here, I can go ahead and just hit my effective date. I can hit find plans. 
Now, once I find plans, it's going to show me all available Medicare supplement plans in the state. It's going to sift them out by lowest monthly EFT premium. I can also sort carriers here as I have a file of all available plans on Medicare supplement right here. So if I don't sell for this policy or that policy, I can say, oh, I'd just sell for this one and that one. I can filter it here. When I get my results back, my monthly FT, quarterly, semi-annual, and annual are here. The carrier, the plan, the rating class. If there's a policy fee, the rating type, best rating. If there is an e-application available for this carrier, the link to it's right here. And I can also save this to my client's portfolio as well. I can compare three of these plans side by side, and I can also send them to my customer if I want to. I can also put a cover page with it, and I can put them right in here, and my name in here, and then I can show them the two-page, real simple little side-by-side -side comparison to help them with their decision. If I need to see just a specific, specific plan, I would just click one of these plans and I would click print plan and it would do the same thing with the cover page and would send one page to it. When I need to see household discounts, I need to switch this toggle on to household discounts. And then those that don't show a percentage, I don't need to do anything to the numbers, but if it does show a percentage, I do need to apply this discount percentage manually to these rates to show the household discount. We do have ancillary products that you can quote, hospital indemnity and file expense. We also have blue button technology that you can also send to a client and get their uh, drugs over from Medicare. The only thing I warn about with blue button technology is you will get every drug they ever took. And so you have to sift through what is old and what is new and that may take you longer than just uh, building a drug list with the person. Now let's take a look at the three recording and storage tools that we have on Search and Save. CMS requires that all electronic interactions be recorded and saved by agents selling Medicare plans beginning on October the 1st, 2022. This includes all outbound telephone calls for marketing, enrollment, or post-enrollment purposes. These recordings must be saved for 10 years. Search and Save offers outbound call recording and storage to the consumer profile on your integrated CRM. There is no additional cost for this service as a subscriber to Search and Save. CMS's new requirement is making us field agents adapt and improvise to overcome the challenge. Here is how the outbound calling works on Search and Save. You must use your cell phone to make outbound calls. You cannot use a landline to use the outbound call record and storage in Search and Save. Make sure that you have your cell phone number set up in your profile on the Search and Save system. The customer will need to have a profile set up in the Search and Save CRM. To do this, simply click on the Add a New Client on the dashboard. The minimum information needed to be able to place an outbound call is the client's name and the number you wish to call them on in the cell phone or work phone fields in the customer information section. Make sure to click the green update bottom at the bottom of the customer profile page. Now to call the client, Simply click on the phone icon located in the upper right hand corner of the customer's detail page. 
confirm which number it is you wish to call. A drop down menu will appear and confirm your number, cell, and the customer's number you are calling. Doesn't matter if it's cell, landline, or V over IP. Click the green button to start the call. Now, one number is used for all of the outbound calls. You need to make yourself aware of this number and your client as well. The number is 513-401-6550. Your phone will ring and you will see it from 513-401-6550. A recording will tell you that we are calling your party and reading them the CMS disclaimer and that way you will be connecting soon. The client will also get a call from 513-401-6550. Make sure that they're aware of this and to answer the call. When they answer, they will be told you, it will state your name, are trying to call them and they are being recorded and then the CMS disclaimer will be played to them. At the end of the disclaimer, the call will be connected to you. When the call ends, the recording will automatically be stored in the customer's profile of your search and save CRM. It will be time and date stamped. It will be available for you to download and share with any interested party from the audio recording tab and the customer's profile on the CRM. CMS requires that all electronic interactions be recorded and saved by agents selling Medicare plans beginning on October the 1st, 2022. This includes all inbound telephone calls to office or cell phones. These recordings must be saved for 10 years. Search and Save offers an add-on tool that can record your incoming calls and store them in the customer profile of our integrated CRM. The cost for this additional service is very low at just $5 per month per line desired for unlimited recording and storage. You can purchase one recording line for your office and one for your cell phone to cover you all the ways you interact telephonically with a client. Here is how to access, set up, and use the inbound call recording and storage tool. First, click on the add-ons button. From the add-ons button, you will see in the left-hand column of the dashboard a drop-down menu. Click Incoming Phone. You will see a screen titled Incoming Phone Numbers. There are three tabs, My Phone Number, Unassigned Recordings, and Purchase Phone Number. Click on Purchase Phone Numbers. Enter the area code where you would want the number to come from, and then click Find Available Phone Numbers. Select as many numbers as you need to use, one for the office, one for the cell phone maybe. Each number is just $5 per month for unlimited recording and storage. Note, please make sure that you have set up a payment method under the payment options under the add-ons tab of your search and save system so that you can complete your transaction for the phone. Click the yellow purchase phone numbers. Add the phone numbers and start your service. And make sure you're selecting the correct payment type from the drop down menu as you see here. After you've purchased the phone numbers, click on My Phone Numbers. Now you can assign the recording number to ring to the location, your office number or and or cell phone number you need designated. In case of the office number, you can assign an agent and an extension. It be important to go into your account settings tab to enter your office phone number and extension, your cell phone, and even an 800 number where we can offer you our incoming recording line service. You can cancel and remove any of the numbers that you need to at any time just by clicking the red cancel or remove button. A drop-down menu will come and it will ask you if you want to cancel the phone number. Just simply click the red do not cancel if you do not wish to cancel it or yes the green button 
to eliminate that number. When a client calls into the recording number, the disclaimer will play for them automatically. Your phone or office or cell, a number, depending on the designation, will ring. When you answer, you will hear a message that your client is listening to the disclaimer and you will be connected soon. Music will play while you wait. After the call, the recording will be time and date stamped and placed under the auto recording tab of the customer's profile in the CRM. If you do not have a customer profile created for a person who called you or the client called you from a number that is not in their profile in the CRM, the recording will go under the unassigned recordings tab located on the incoming phone page. When you click on this tab, you will see the recordings that are timed and date stamped. If you know the person is a current client and you have a profile set up for them, you can simply assign that list recording to that person. If the person is not, and it may be a new client to you, then you do not have a customer profile set up for them. You will need to go into your customer profiles and easily create a new client profile for that person by clicking, clicking the add a new client button. Once you do this, then you can add the recording to the person's profile. We hit the green button to sign the recording, and now that recording will be there in the customer's profile. CMS requires that all electronic interactions be recorded and saved by agents selling Medicare plans beginning October the 1st, 2022. This includes all telephonic calls and calls that occur through other means, such as computers or smartphone applications, for example, Zoom, FaceTime, etc. The Search and Save Medicare system for agents use offers you an add-on tool to use screen sharing technology with automatic recording and storage. This tool is also integrated into the CRM inside of the Medicare system so to automatically store the recording directly into the customer's profile. The cost is very low at just four cents per minute and is billed when your account reaches a dollar or more in a month's use. To set up screen sharing, follow these steps. First, click on the Add-ons button, located in the left-hand column of the dashboard. You will need to set up a payment method for the screen sharing tool. Once you set up a payment method, that will be good for any of the other add-on tools we offer, Pearl Technology, Income Calling, etc. Click on Payment Method from the drop-down screen. You will see a gear icon to the right-hand side of the page. Click on it and then click Add New Credit Card. A drop-down menu will appear. Fill in the needed credit card information then click Add Payment Method. The credit card information will now show in the payment fields. You can set the card as a default payment, replace it, or remove it completely. Now, go back and click on the add-ons button from the drop-down menu and click screen share. The Enable Video Recording screen opens and the toggle to add on the service will automatically activate. You are now set to start using screen sharing. When you return to the dashboard and click on a customer's profile, you will now see the icon for the computer use of screen sharing tool in the upper right hand corner. Now let's look at how to use the screen sharing tool to record and store customer interactions.
From the customer's detail page, you want to make sure you have a good email address for the client entered into the CRM so the screen share tool can send them an invitation to connect. Click on the computer icon. A drop-down screen will ask you if you wish to start a screen share with this client. Click the green box to start screen share. A new screen will appear asking you what you want to share on your screen. Click on the entire screen, then click the blue share button. Your screen will now have the controls for the meeting at the bottom of your screen. Most of the screen will be dark and a small screen will show the mic and speaker defaults. Just click anywhere on the dark part of the screen to make this go away and the screen will light up again for you. You may want to click the hide button so now you can see the control bar in its entirety. When your client enters the meeting, you will see the screen share and a notification will display telling you they have joined. This is the email that the client will receive asking them to view your agent's screen. They will have to enter their first name and their last name. When the time comes to end the meeting, simply click on the red X to the right hand side of the control bar. Click OK to end the meeting. After the meeting is ended, the recording will automatically be saved in the screen recording tab of the customer's profile page of the CRM. It will be timed and date stamped and be downloadable for any interested party needing it for future use. So now let's take a look at our Pearl technology and how it's like having an extra employee in your office working for $1.66 a day. Today's independent Medicare agents face quite a challenge when it comes to handling time management. Because there are so few of us, and we are so busy handling so many customer service calls and new business referrals, time becomes a precious commodity. Your response to the search and save Medicare system's ability to save you time in the quoting process has shown us that we are on the right track. Our agent subscribers came to us with another idea to see about saving even more time in the Medicare selling process. This idea would give an online tool that would allow prospects to enter their own information through a series of questions. Prescriptions, favorite pharmacies, providers, current coverage, wants and needs. The information gathered would go directly into the search and save system, create the profile, then notify you that it was there. When the system notifies you, the agent, it will do so by text and email that a new prospect was entered into your search and save system for your follow-up. Oh, we love the idea. So we invested in creating Pearl technology and integrating it into the search and save Medicare system for agent use. PEARL is an acronym for Personal URL. Carriers have offered this online tool, but the ability to make it agent and agency branded, plus the ability to integrate it into a Medicare system for agents has not been offered until now. So how long does it normally take for you to gather the information from a new prospect? 30 minutes, an hour, maybe more? Now you can let Pearl gather that information for you and save you all that time. Well, how about other uses? Give it to the HR person at a group you sell health insurance to. You could even brand a Pearl to that business if you want to. The HR person simply gives the Pearl address to the retiree. The retiree enters the information, it goes directly into your search and save system, and we notify you that it is there for your follow-up. Give one to your clients to send referrals to, put it on your website, or post it to social media. Give a pearl to financial planners, tax preparers, pharmacists, 
PCPs or specialist offices, PNC agents, there are many uses. You save the time and give your network connections a way to refer clients to you easily and professionally. Oh, here's the best news. We have created a pearl for existing clients so they can update their information in your search and save system. You get both Pearl Tech uses, new and existing clients, for one low price. So how do you access and use a Pearl for a new client? Simply click the add-ons button. In the drop-down menu, click on Pearls. Once you click on the Pearls tab, scroll down and look for the gearbox next to the Pearl. Click on it. Then click Manage Pearl. Now what you're going to do here on the next page is you're going to click the green box for copy the Pearl link. You're going to put it into an email and send it to a client. They're going to open the link, go to the questionnaire, and start to fill out the data. They're going to be filling in their zip code, their county, their age, gender, and if they're on Medicaid or Medicare. They always click next to go to the next screen or to skip a screen. They can tell you what their current coverage situation is here. They can click as many boxes as they wish. They go to the drug list lookup, pretty easy to do. You put in the first three letters of the drug, they can look it up. They put in the quantity and the frequency of their drug. They can click the yes box up there at the top to add another prescription. When they have completed their drug list, they can click the red no button and then they can move on to the next screen or just click next. Now they can also look up their favorite pharmacies. Here they're going to have to enter their address. They want to click the Google address box drop down. It'll pull up the pharmacies closest to them and they can select their favorite pharmacy or pharmacies. Now they can put in their primary care physician. Same thing here, but you're going to put in city and state. They're going to select it. They're going to put in their doctor's name and hit the search bar. Select the doctor and then go next. Now they can put in their specialists. With specialists, you can put in multiple doctors. Same way, put in your city and state, put in the specialist name, search to enter that doctor, select the doctor, to go back to the field and put in the next doctor's name and repeat the process. Now we have the additional benefits of interest. Another way, great way for you to find additional selling opportunities. They can select as many of these as they want. Then we move to contact information. They'll put in their first name, their last name, their email address, and their phone number. They'll get a review. The review will set everything that they put into the system and then you can scroll down and look at the drugs as well. Permission to contact is in here. They must click on the permission to contact. We do capture this time and date stamp in your CRM. And once they click on that, with its disclaimer, they can submit the information and it'll go straight to you. Now, thank you is here with your name and your contact information for the client to review. Now on your side in the search and say system, we're going to notify you by email and by text and alert on the search and save system. So you're going to know that that information has been put into your system. We're going to enter it into the CRM and we're going to actually run the quote for you. 
Now you want to give this a minute because what's going to happen here is it's going to enter the drugs into your drug list. It's going to enter the pharmacies in the pharmacy list. It's going to also run the quote for you in the MAPD and PDP tab. So you want to give this just a minute if you can. You're going to also notice that there is a new tab that pops up called Pearl Customer Information. And that's going to store some very important additional information you're going to want to know about this client. To see it, just click on it and it's going to populate with the information of their current coverage situation, the doctors. It's also going to tell you some other things that they put in there, and including the additional interest. There's a little green box next to the doctor's names. If you'll click on those green boxes, it'll take you over to the provider search engine where the doctor's name will populate and the zip code, and you'll be able to click find providers and find the plans that those doctors and specialists take. And this will speed up the process for you quite heavily when you're taking uh, this information in to do a quote. We hope you will use this Pearl technology inside of the Search and Save system, especially for new client use. It's going to be very helpful for you. How can you take advantage of the use of Pearl technology in your Search and Save system for existing clients? Once you have created a Pearl, personal URL in your search and save system, there are two ways in which you can send it to an existing client. First is directly from the search and save dashboard. Second is from the client's profile page in the CRM. When using the Perl from the dashboard, you will see a blue circle under the column titled action. The blue circle is the icon for the Perl to use with existing clients. On the client's profile page, you will see a blue button titled Send Pearl Updated Request. When you click on either the icon or button, a drop down menu will appear titled Send Pearl Update Request to Customer. Click the drop down menu and select your Pearl. The contact name and email will be listed of the client you are sending the Pearl to. Check it for accuracy. Click Send Selected Pearl. The client will receive an email from MMQ support. In the body of the email, you will be listed as requesting the updated information from the client and your contact information will also be displayed in case they have questions. The client will click on the button, update my information, and will be taken to your existing Pearl questionnaire. The questionnaire will pre-fill with the pertinent data you have from the client's information you entered into the search and save system pertaining to zip code, county, age, Medicare and or Medicaid status, their current drug list, preferred pharmacies, PCP and specialist, additional benefits of interest, and contact information. They can edit or update any of the information populated. Once they have completed the questionnaire, a review screen will appear. They can use the previous button if they need to go back and make any changes. The final screen asks them to agree to submit this to you, their agent, and have their changes updated. The client will then see this thank you screen and would be told to contact that you will contact them if you have any questions or need additional information. After the questionnaire is completed, it takes about five minutes for the update to be shown in your system. We will notify you of its completion by text, email, and alert on your search and save system. When the update is completed, you will see on the dashboard under the column heading last updated, the date and time that the data was entered. The client's profile will now be updated. Medicare plan quotes will be updated as well. The prescription, the pharmacy, and MAPD and PDP plans updates will be under their usual tabs. The provider, specialist, enrollment status, and other benefits of interest also known as other selling opportunities, are displayed under the Pearl Customer Information tab. 
The link to send the providers and specialists to the provider search engine is displayed for an easy transition for you to this tool. Cost. The Search and Save Medicare System for Agents Use platform for the quoting, enrollment, provider and facility search engine, CRM and outbound call, unlimited recording and storage, costs $25 a month for a single user. A small agency, two to five users, is $50 a month. A medium-sized agency, six to nine users, is $75 per month. And a large agency, 10 to 19 users, is $150 per month. If you are larger than 19 agents, we get into our enterprise pricing. So just give us a message or a call and we will talk to you about the pricing for those. If you would like to put any of our optional subscription add-on tools to your Search and Save subscription, the costs are as follows. If you want to add Pearl technology for new or existing clients, it's $50 per month. If you want unlimited recording and storage of inbound calls, it is $5 per line per month. If you want to use our screen share technology, it is four cents per minute with unlimited recording and storage. Want to get started with Search and Save today? It's easy, and we'll give you a 30-day free trial. Just go to searchandsave.org. Now click the word register under the password field, fill out the short form, then check your email. Verify your identity, go back, log in with your email and the password you created, and you're ready to start using Search and Save. Want to see a full presentation of our system? Go to mmqsearchandsave.com.